In the late 90s, a Russian-European initiative proposed the idea of launching mirrors in space, not to keep their hairline on check, but to beam sunlight back to Earth during nighttime. Over the past decade, the US Defense Department has spent large amounts of money to study this bird, a migrating sparrow, which can stay as long as seven days without sleep. While this is not a video on Cold War tactics, these two cases have a lot to do with me opposing my own idea of a video I made a couple of weeks ago on how humans will one day completely stop working. Today, we explore the concept of the 24-7 working man, how we will forget about sleep and maybe clock in to a never-ending lifelong work shift. Hi, I'm Yonka, and this is Blank Note. Well, I still believe in humanity, and I wish with all my heart that we don't voluntarily become slaves of a live-to-work world. But this always demanding universe we are stubbornly creating needs constant workforce. As far as corporates are concerned, they couldn't care less if you're getting enough sleep or not. An employee, being a digit, is only valid when clocked in. So if they could, they would love a 24-7 work reality. Does this headline ring any bell? Anyway, the Mirrors in Space plan called for a chain of satellites to be placed into Earth's orbit in sync with the Sun. Each satellite would be equipped with parabolic reflectors, capable to extend to 200 meters in diameter. Each mirror would illuminate a 10-mile square area on Earth with 100 times the brightness of moonlight. The plan was to initially illuminate remote areas with long polar nights to allow for longer shifts, but then they proposed to provide nightlight to metropolitan areas too, to cut energy costs and allow for more night shift possibilities. Luckily, the project was opposed by many voices. Of course, as this reputation proceeds, the Russian effort made its own decision. But the 90s being not the ideal time for the country, resembling nothing like the 60s Cold War space race Russia, the attempted Znamya experiment failed. I mean, keep it together, Russia. Can you imagine that? Living in a city where no matter when you open your blinds, it is always daytime outside. No offense, Norway, and everybody in the Arctic Circle. But artificially changing such vital cycles could have terrible psychological and metabolic effects on humans and animals. Earth's climate, on the other hand, would receive major changes. And nobody should be robbed away from a quiet night's sleep or the beauty of stargazing. Rest is natural and sleep depriving will make you start a f up. And here comes the second case of interest. Their seasonal migration route from Alaska to northern Mexico and back is a very long one. The white crowned sparrow has this fascinating ability to stay awake for as long as seven days allowing it to navigate and fly during night and look for food during the day without the need for rest, twice per year. Government-funded programs in many universities are currently studying their brain activity and trying to see if there is a way to implement that to the human brain. And that is only a tiny part of a larger program initiated by the Advanced Research Division of the Pentagon. There are currently numerous labs trying to minimize sleep time. The goal is clear sleepless soldier. Previous attempts of the 20th century war solutions like amphetamine resulted in catastrophic side effects. So the aim here is not to find a way to stay awake longer, but to reduce the body's need for sleep. So while the first case would undermine democracy by non-voluntarily changing lives, the second would offer an option. Sure, it's only for military purposes for now, but as we know, a lot of stuff we use today comes from the military. So once they create a sort of therapy or a safe pill, there will be the option. And maybe one will not use it to work non-stop, but instead the work-life balance will change. 40 hours straight the first two days and party for the rest of the weekend? 2080 hours the first six months and travel the world the remaining six? or ramp up 41,600 hours the first five years of your life and retire by 25. No, it's, it's not crazy. It's inhumane. Once we navigate neurons, understand the very core of cores of brain chemicals and its magnetic activity, and believe me, we will, 
In a couple of decades, the question will be more philosophical than scientific. See, the inspiration for this video came from a book I'm reading called 24-7 by Jonathan Crary. I haven't finished it yet. I had to make this video. Don't want to upset the YouTube algorithm. But basically, in the book, he talks about a reality where the human of the future will have abolished the notion of sleep and instead engage in constant activity, whether that be work, play, or intellectual pursuit. So, once again, science will offer the options. All sorts of crazy ones. The question is, how will we as a society embrace them? And to be fair, I don't really have an answer to that. Maybe you have an opinion on how humans will trade in their old-fashioned nap time. I'm open to hear that. But since we're talking about brains, I can't help but voice out my dystopian fears for humanity. These brain chips they are currently developing, I believe, will shape our world more than we can think of right now. If today we occasionally wake up in the middle of the night to check out a message, this offspring of neuroscience and engineering will keep us connected all the time. Yes, of course there will be sleep modes, etc. But the fact that you can be reachable even in your sleep takes working over time to a whole new level. No need to type or even get out of bed. You will respond to that extremely important email at any given time. You will fish for that big job you've been waiting for so long at any given time. You will go days without disconnecting for that extra dollar. And while the physical will become less and less relevant, the virtual will take over. So instead of no sleep, there will be no waking. As I explained on the very first video of this channel about a year ago, where is social media going? A matrix reality where we never leave our room, always computing and all the time connected to the worldwide heads is very probable. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I can't wait to have a chat with you in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next one.